The German Shepherd and the Labrador Retriever are two dogs that are difficult to mix up. They are both well-known dog breeds with disparate personalities and more dissimilar appearances. But which makes a better pet? This isn't going to be an easy decision. I won't spend a lot of time on the histories because, well, they are completely unrelated and I've done complete videos on both dogs. I'll link to those videos in the description along with other videos you should find interesting. But their histories are not unrelated on how these dogs perform as family pets, so I'll share a brief history of each breed. The Labrador Retriever was originally bred in Newfoundland in the 16th century to help fishermen. They jumped into icy water to bring back fish that had fallen off fishing hooks. They would also pull in fish field nets. The breed was perfect for these jobs because their coat repelled water and their webbed paws made them excellent swimmers. Of course, like most hunting dogs, they worked closely with the fishermen and became companions as well as workers. The modern German Shepherd descends from the work of ex-cavalryman and former veterinary student Max von Stephanitz, who believed that dogs in the more industrialized Germany should be bred as working dogs. He recognized the characteristics of Germany's herding dogs, but couldn't locate a dog that met all the requirements for a modern working breed. Thus, he founded the Society for the German Shepherd Dogs, with a dog he discovered at a dog show. As we can see, both breeds were bred to work closely with their human companions, but to perform different tasks. Both breeds have indeed found roles in the more modernized world. The Labrador Retriever as a service dog helping the blind and others with disabilities, and the German Shepherd Dog taking up a role in police and military work, after mostly being replaced in service dog work by Golden and Labrador Retrievers. If you'd like to learn more about their histories, check out the videos in the description. Want to show YouTube that you like videos about dogs? Make sure to hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button and ring the bell for more. There is little chance you'll ever confuse these dogs with one another. They're both distinctively different dogs. The Labrador Retriever is a strong, well-balanced dog that stands between 21.5 and 24.5 inches tall at the shoulder and weighs between 55 and 80 pounds. Its dense, rigid coat comes in a variety of colors including yellow, black, and a decadent chocolate. The head is broad, the eyes are kind, and the thick, tapering otter tail seems to express the breed's intrinsic desire to please. The German Shepherd is a more wolf-appearing dog. It has a double coat, which is comprised of a thick undercoat and a dense, slightly wavy or straight outer coat. His hair, usually tan and black or red and black in color, is medium in length and sheds all year round. Other rarer color variations include all black, all white, liver, and blue. The German Shepherd's body is long, generally between 22 and 26 inches, in proportion to its height. It gives the dog strength, agility, elasticity, and long, elegant strides. The German Shepherd weighs between 49 and 88 pounds. Which dog do you like best? Comment your answer below with the hashtag LoveDogs. Who's got the better personality? Well, that depends on what you're looking for in a dog companion. Both are intelligent dogs who've used their cunning to get to the top of the working dog world. However, they use their intelligence in different ways. The German Shepherd is very protective and devoted to his family and home, maintaining a suspicious and aloof demeanor around strangers. It can be dominating and assertive towards dogs, though it is normally friendly with other pets in the home. The German Shepherd is an immensely versatile dog displaying a keen intellect while dutifully performing his task. However, the German Shepherd's intelligence comes with no small amount of stubbornness as we'll find out later when we discuss trainability. They are quick to bark and are top of the class guard dogs. They also are a bit of a Velcro dog. You're not going to have much alone time with a German Shepherd in your home. The Labrador Retriever is even-tempered, intelligent, and affectionate. Labs are playful yet gentle with children and they tend to get along well with other pets and even strangers, which may give the Lab a bit of an advantage if you're a social person. 
These dogs are eager to please, which explains why they respond so well to obedience training and are such popular service dogs. They also like to work, whether it involves hunting or fetching slippers. Both dogs are intelligent and highly trainable, but once again, they are completely different dogs. As I mentioned earlier, the Labrador Retriever is eager to please and is a very fast learner. Even an inexperienced owner is capable of training a lab. Just remember to reward them with lots of praise, treats, and kisses when they learn a new command. The lab excels at obedience, tracking, guide, and assistance, and search and rescue. The German Shepherd is considered more intelligent than the lab, at least according to Dr. Stanley Corin in his book, The Intelligence of Dogs. But despite being able to learn a myriad of complex commands, it is not as user-friendly as the lab when it comes to training. Proper and effective training for a German Shepherd includes firmness, fairness, and respect, with consistency and adequate rewards. The German Shepherd can be stubborn and also will find loopholes in any lax rules. You may also find that toys tend to be a better reward for the German Shepherd than treats. Overall, both breeds excel at any task they are given, although the lab is a bit easier for the novice dog trainer. Both breeds need to be active. After all, neither was bred to be a couch potato. Far from it. Labrador Retrievers are hunting dogs at heart, so they love a good game of fetch or a vigorous swim. In fact, you might wonder if your lab is part duck. If exercise is provided daily, labs can adapt to any type of home, even if it is a city apartment. Overall, their exercise needs are pretty moderate for an active dog. When it comes to energy and intensity, the German Shepherd cranks everything to 10. A German Shepherd who's under-exercised and ignored by their family is likely to express pent-up energy in ways you're not going to like. His energy, intensity, eagerness to play, and somewhat strong prey drive make the German Shepherd less adaptable to city living than the lab. The GSD needs exercise, and lots of it daily. But if those needs can be met, a German Shepherd can live in an apartment, albeit an apartment covered in dog hair. Both breeds live about 9 to 13 years, about average for larger dog breeds. Due to indiscriminate breeding, special care must be taken with both breeds to choose a good breeder as both can and do suffer from a variety of genetic illnesses. Find out more in the videos in the description. So which of these amazing breeds best suits your lifestyle? Do you prefer one over the other? Let us know in the comments. Hey, thanks for hanging with me. You like this video, so check out some more here. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If not, what are you waiting for? Click it. And as always, catch you next time.